This hive is typically the most aggressive out here. They can get after you a little bit. Uh, but the bees overall, yeah, see, I can hear them. It's full. Oh my gosh, it's full of bees. Let's see what we got here. I think you're going to see them boil out when I tip this top back. See them? So this hive has apparently not swarmed out. You might remember this spot here. This is where we set up the uh, queen excluder challenge uh, two or three months ago. I think I stacked the boxes up a little too soon when I did that. We had a little flow going, the bees were booming, but it's turned out okay, I think. It's not gonna be, as we thought, it's not gonna be an exact science. So we'll peek in here and see. It is a follow-up. It didn't go exactly like I thought it would. I probably should have waited a little while to stack these up. Maybe not stacked them quite as high, but we'll see what we have. I'm right, gonna get set up here and we'll, we'll peek in and see how they're doing, then I'm gonna get some honey harvested here. So here's the first hive. Just gonna be honest, I don't really expect there to be much, if any, honey in here because they did pretty much swarm out. I reduced the box down, took some of the boxes off the top, and they swarmed out to uh, very few bees. So I don't expect there to be much going on in here. We're gonna peek in anyway and see. Oh, there's some bees up in here, but I don't know if there's gonna be any honey. Yeah, there's a few bees. Uh, it looks like the, the uh, swarming is over now. Hopefully they've got them a good queen. She's doing her thing. We're not really gonna go through the hive, just wanna check these top supers. But there's a few bees in here. Just gonna tell you, looking in the top here, I'm gonna take the middle frame out. Not enough bees up in here. I am very much doubt the queen's up here. I'm not gonna injure them. And they are putting some nectar in here. Just a little bit through the center. No capped honey though at all in this top box that I can see. And there is some capped honey in this box. So they must have bounced back some here. There's about three frames in the middle. Once again, not many bees in the box, but they've, they've been doing some honey, looks like, making some honey. Look at that. So even though there's not a lot of bees, We've got a frame of harvestable honey here. And it is true there may have been a little honey in here already left over from the winter, but it looks like they're bouncing back. I'm not gonna, like I say, go through the hive. We've got, looks like I'm gonna say two or three frames in here, harvestable honey, but it's really not a good, it doesn't have anything to do with the queen excluder situation. We removed it, the bees were building back up. Look at that frame of honey. Good deal. So I may get a little bit out of this hive, but not, not much. All right, this box does not have a queen excluder. And I think I've rearranged the boxes some from the original configuration. I can't remember. Just trying to get the bees to put honey in here. I believe they put some honey in these two boxes. They were pretty much ready to harvest a couple of weeks ago. And, but they were down here, lower. And I think the bees had not gone above the foundation. So I think I put them on top and we'll see real quick. We're just gonna kind of peek in here. I step up on a cinder block to get into them. Okay, so there are bees all the way up here in the top, and mm -hmm. see the bees on the lid. And this box right here is completely full of, of uh, capped honey. I don't know if you'll be able to see in the camera, but I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. I couldn't see what you were seeing, but maybe you can see what it looks like. So the top box, full honey, but I think it was originally a couple weeks ago down here, closer to the food chamber, and I moved it up. Oh my gosh. It's pretty heavy. This box looks exactly the same, totally packed with honey. So we got at least two boxes of beautiful South Alabama honey here. Side. Totally full. <clears throat> heavy, heavy. All right, this box. These are the ones I reconfigured. Really not a lot going on here. Very little honey in here. It's possible this hive is swarmed as well. We've had a real swarmy season this year. There's not much in that box. And then below that is the foundation. 
We got two boxes of honey on here that we're gonna try to harvest, that we're gonna harvest. And beyond that, uh, they haven't done much. Actually a little disappointing in the population this hive. I thought there would be more. So it's very possible they swarmed out as well and they're trying to reestablish themselves. Box number three, queen excluder. Queen excluder is right here. And we'll see what we have going on up above this. This hive is typically the most aggressive out here. They can get after you a little bit. Uh, but the bees overall, yeah, see, I can hear them. It's full. Oh, my gosh, it's full of bees. Let's see what we got here. I think you're going to see them boil out when I tip this top back. See them? So this hive has apparently not swarmed out. That's probably the bigger indicator of the amount of honey in a hive is whether or not you can keep them in the hive, keep them from swarming. Yeah, and there is white wax all the way up here in this box. So they're kind of getting after me a little bit already. White wax on the on the lid. Top box completely full of honey. Outside frames may not be totally capped, um, but we're going to harvest it anyway. I'm pretty sure. So they're coming after me. So, this is the nasty hive, but they've been productive. Now I found, I don't always wear gloves, but when I harvest honey, I usually do. I discovered a couple of gloves. I got them really nice, the more expensive ones. We have the goat skin um, gloves, and they work really well. They, they go all the way up your arms here. I've been using these most of the year this year, and I really like them. I had to do voice over here because I had tried a new mic placement and as the bees got aggressive here you couldn't hear what I was saying so I figured I would go ahead and do a voiceover. The top box is ready to harvest. Second box down that I'm looking in now uh, had quite a bit of nectar in it but it was not sufficiently capped to harvest the box of honey. Uh, I believe that I put the a box that was on top, I think I moved it up from actually, maybe possibly from below the queen excluder a few weeks back to allow the bees um, to come on up through these next two boxes down through the queen excluder. And they come up and put quite a bit of nectar and honey they were working on this super, just wasn't quite ready to harvest. You might wonder why I keep these aggressive bees around. I've managed these bees for a friend whose main interest is the honey and they do a great job. They're, they thrive and they do a really good job making honey. And so I keep them around. They're kind of in a remote area. They don't bother anyone and it works out okay. This next box down, uh, the middle frame was drawn out and they were putting honey in there. It was not fully capped. They'd not done much else in the rest of the box, although they were starting to dry out some of the frames. And so really nothing to harvest there. To so remove this box, you can see the bees are just absolutely packed beneath the queen excluder. So even though these bees, these aggressive bees, are willing to go up through the queen excluder, they still prefer to stay below. And when I move to the queen excluder here, you can see they really get after me. There's just a lot of bees in this hive, in this box below there. Um, and they just seem to prefer to stay below it. So this box had a lot of honey in it and decided to take it. There's plenty of room for the queen to lay down below that box. There's a deep and another medium down there. So decided to remove a frame here and take a look at it. You can see it's almost completely capped with honey. This is on the outside. Plenty of honey in this box. So we decided to take what honey there was and there's plenty of room below for the queen to do her thing with the brood down there. Box number four, no queen excluder, two deeps, and I think I had a box foundation, what's wrong coming above that. The reason this brick is that I angle like this is because last time I went through them, I, I, I didn't see evidence of a queen. Maybe they just the queen or something. Or so I have no idea what I'm going to see in here. It looks like there's a fair, there are a fair number of bees in the front of the hive. Uh, so I really don't know. Maybe we're going to have some honey in here, maybe not. These bees are after me right now. We're still in that last hive, but there are some bees up here. Yeah, there's not much going on in here. Yeah, we're not going to get any honey off this 
some box set right now, but there does seem to be a fair number of these in here, so we're not doing anything in the drum in the foundation box. And there is some honey in the box below that, but the test was for the foundation of love, so um, I might take a little honey out of this box. I'm gonna go through it and see. There's a fair amount of capped honey it looks like in there, maybe get a few frames out of there. Or I may just leave it alone for the June harvest. Um, so Queen's Litter Challenge, uh, four hives right here. We've had to change and reconfigure them a little bit. The bees have put honey in there. At least on these hives out here, the one that still has the Queen's Litter, the bees are through the Queen's Litter, but they are hesitant to go through the Queen's Litter. And there is some honey above it. And, but this test has really not been a very good, at least not a scientific test. Not enough hives. We had some queen issues or some swarming issues. Um, but it's been kind of fun anyway. Okay, so I thought I'd add this on to the queen scooter challenge video. This is a hive in my backyard that I had a queen scooter on last year and this year. The one down there we just harvested as well. Had a queen scooter, we got some honey off of it. Just to show that many times I think it's just the bees and it's not so much the queen scooter. Queen scooters do seem to limit some bees, but. I think you're going to see here that these bees just don't care. Haven't been in here in a little while, so we're going to see how they're doing. So we have a double deep and then another medium on top of that. Got the queen scooter up here. We got one, two, three, four boxes. I may have added this one fairly recently. I'm going to look in here real quick and see what we got. I don't know if you can tell. I'm going to tip this up so you can see. Look at all the bees. So obviously these bees don't care anything about that queen scooter. Let's go right on up through it and they're putting some honey right here in these in about three or four of the frames in this top box and I actually pulled a I think I pulled two splits off of this hive about two or three weeks ago probably about three or four weeks ago or something like that it's probably about three weeks and it is just back full of bees so I don't know if you can tell in the video but these three frames right here have white wax and they're ready to, you know they're not ready to harvest yet but I don't think this super's been on there very long. This box has a fair number of bees just from looking down in there two three four five I mean, five to six frames are ready to harvest full of honey. I think some of the ones on the edges might, they're not capped but it's got a lot of honey in here I can tell by the weight. Good grief. Yeah it's kind of so this box has a lot of honey in it. Below that, um, I guess this is full of too. So we're gonna get at least probably two full supers off of here, maybe three. So that goes to show you that bees will go up through a queen excluder. It just depends on the genetics of the bees and whether or not they mind doing it. I think the bees, as a general rule, you know, feel free or to go up and down a hive without a queen excluder. But boy, it sure makes harvesting easier if you don't have to check every frame for brood as you get down near the brood, brood box. So I'm probably going to start using queen excluders a little bit more on my production hives just because of the ease of it. And, uh, but if I do have a hive, kind of like I the location yesterday, if I have any hives that just really don't want to go up to the queen excluder, I'll pull it off and let it do her thing. All right, on to the next video. Thank you.